Drugged driving and the number of cases is climbing at a sobering rate. That includes a local mom who was just arrested after witnesses called 911. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Brown live with the details. Rachel, this is scary for all of us on the roads. It really is a frightening trend and it's becoming a new reality, Fred. More and more drivers are getting behind the wheel with marijuana or prescription drugs in their system. That's according to the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration, and they say it's creating new dangers on the roads. As hungry taco lovers came and went, employees here at Taco Bell say this 29-year-old Rock Hill mother was falling asleep inside the restaurant. The store manager says she looked impaired, so he worried when she and her children began to make their way to the parking lot. According to this police report, that mother walked out of this Taco Bell with her two kids. She packed her family into her SUV and drove off, though employees say it didn't look like she was able to safely drive. They called police who came and arrested her for DUI after two failed sobriety tests. But she wasn't drunk. She blew a 0.00. Police say she was drugged. She told the responding officer she'd taken 40 milligrams of Prozac earlier in the day. New studies showing higher numbers of drug driving in recent years. A report by the Governor's Highway Safety Association and the Foundation for Advancing Alcohol Responsibility found drugs of all types, illegal and prescription, were present in 43% of fatal crashes in 2015, compared to 37% who tested positive for alcohol. Tiger Woods making headlines over the holiday weekend on suspicion of DUI after he too told police he'd taken medication earlier in the day. Now, this Rock Hill mother is now facing DUI and child endangerment charges. A 2014 study also revealed that 10 million Americans admitted to driving under the influence of drugs. I'm live in Rock Hill tonight. Rachel Brown, NBC.